Is physical a worse offense than emotional infidelity? So, for more training on building and attracting a blissful marriage, please visit www.lolaandola.com. So, let's go into this one right here. Is physical a worse offense than emotional infidelity? So, he got caught. Basically, he got caught with uh, one of the things he did was there's a video of him coming out talking to a side piece. A side chick. A side chick. Damn, a side and piece. Talking and, and telling on his wife that the wife only gives pizza to the babies. For dinner. I mean, for dinner. Every well, day. I don't understand for the life of me why some <laughs> men put every, their wives down. Every, every day. Is it because you want a... Uh, you want the pee. You want the vegetable so bad that you have to talk down. Who cares if the, your wife is feeding you pizza in the house? Right. So if you don't like it. You get that's, in the that's, kitchen. That's one of the things he said. So imagine you, you as a wife, or your wife seeing a video of that's you talking horrible. to a side piece, and 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 accusing her of only giving pizza, even if it's true. Yeah. Uh, giving pizza every night, right? Imagine. Let's talk about how what that would make the wife feel like, right? Yeah, if you had a problem, why didn't you talk to me? <laughs> well, maybe you're not the easiest to talk to. Let maybe me... I'm not. Okay. But then you could get yourself in the kitchen or come up with ideas. Maybe we could get a, a chef to cook for us on a daily to daily basis. Come on. All right, so let's get into this first I video. Didn't, I didn't like that part. Watch this first video. This was not physical or sexual. I've only ever been with one woman that is my wife. But the area is. What do you have to say about that? Saying that it's not physical, it's emotional. What difference does it make, bro? Like you're talking to another woman. Hmm. The emotional one gone is actually, it's just like you already slept with a person because they, they get to, everywhere that your wife has been with you, mm -hmm. they get to experience that. Yeah. You've bared your heart to this person. Yeah. Let me just say like this. If you had an emotional affair and that's all you did. Still hot for. Wait now. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that's all you did and you got caught, dude, you missed out. You might as well just have slept with the person. Maybe that's because... why let me go and sleep with this person first before you accuse me. <laughs> because, you might, because you might as well just have slept with this person because you're going to receive equal amount of scrutiny. It's just as bad. I'm you're sure. going to hurt that person just as much, if not more, because now you're going to, here's why it's going to be more, okay? You're going to be telling this person that I never slept with this person. Now they're going to look at you like you're a liar because they will never believe you, so they will punish you that much more, that much more, because they are thinking their head says no you already slept with this person because i mean honestly how would they know right uh -huh. they weren't there with you uh -huh. so if you already were texting and saying all this into a side piece and you're trying you're to bring them intimate into, conversation intimate, and you're trying to bring them into a hotel uh, the same hotel that's that's that's, I, I, that's part of the allegations you're trying to bring them to the same hotel where you and your wife was lodged oh my god right that's even messy dude you might as well have slept with the lady so you can say you know you're right i slept so you can get away quickly and then maybe she will, she will accept your apology a lot faster. Mm -hmm. But you're in the worst place. Being I'm talking defensive. emotional right now. Yeah. You're in the worst place when you when you when you, truthfully you haven't slept with that person. But it's the truth. But she's not going to believe you. Mm -hmm. Your punishment is twice. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to apologize at all, the last thing you want to bring up is <laughs> it wasn't fiscal, dude. It doesn't matter if it was physical or not. And Pastor John Gray should know better. It doesn't matter if it was physical or emotional. Mm -hmm. Bottom line is that you are exchanging this intimate moment mm -hmm. that's only designed mm -hmm. for you based on what you promised wife. this person for you and your wife, mm. and you broke that trust. It's the trust that you broke that's the issue, and it's not. It's not what really happened physically. She doesn't care if you slept with the person, if you didn't sleep with the person. In fact, you're not admitting or you putting that in the midst of your apology, mm -hmm. you're making things worse. Mm -hmm. So number one, is physical a worse offense than emotional infidelity? It's, that's the question. It's backwards. Mm -hmm. Emotional is worse because you're going to get punished that much. And even in, in terms of, in terms of uh, why, why waste all that energy on an emotional? You might as well just go all in. Right. And so that we can know that, okay, you're to, you're to 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 right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? 
I mean, what does the Bible say about lusting anyway? Mm -hmm. It's not as if, I mean, we talk yeah, about it. It's a start from the it's mind. The, the Bible said that, actually, yeah. Once you start lusting after that, yeah, you're already saying you don't have to open the thighs and go in there and before you've sinned. Yep. So he, he needs to get it together when it comes to that. And I understand the pressure of being a pastor and also being human. But that's the part where you well, can stop Well, that's walking. the same for all of us. Well, for pastors, a little bit more, I, mean, I guess. I, the pressure mm -hmm. has to be like a mm -hmm. lot more. So, so, so Kenny says emotional is as worse as physical, if not more, like yep. you just said. Yep. Because again, that person will always question that and you're going to get punished more because you're now sounding like you're lying, lying too. So, and then you're um, saying that your wife does not feed you guys anything else. She's more concerned about pizza that. For, uh, come <laughs> on, why are you saying these things about your wife? I, I I I don't know. I don't like that part at all. That that's really getting to me. Why are you? I'll tell you where that comes from. Let's talk about that. Actually. Why why are you painting your wife bad? Mm -hmm. Is it to get empathy from your side chick or something? I don't understand. So let's even and, talk and about and that. This is common mm -hmm. in some men. Right. I won't say all men because not all men do that. Mm -hmm. Some men will they will trash their wife just so that they can get sympathy pussy. I don't get it. Yeah, if you have to trash one woman to get another woman, you don't have game, and and you're a sorry I think case. That's what it is. But um, that's that's that's, that, that. that's even sad. You don't you don't have to to get another woman. You don't have to trash another woman. That that's something that even young men who are not necessarily married should know. Like if you broke up with somebody, always speak good of them because they came into your life for a reason. Because you chose to. You chose them, right? So when you start speaking so bad of them, you're speaking of yourself. Ultimately, Absolutely. you know, so I agree and that. like I said, it's, it's 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 lack of game when you when you do that. But um the thought of it alone is killing, yeah, yeah, exactly. The intent of the emotional is definitely to do something, reach for the cookie jar. <laughs> Kenny, what you want more cookie? <laughs> <laughs> she ain't lie, though. She yeah, ain't yeah, lie. yeah. Of course, but but some people are in a weak place yes. when they engage in emotional affair. Like they all, a lot of people want to, until they bring a baby into this world, they actually always had, uh, didn't have the intention they would do it, mm. right? It's just again, the devil Sweetness. is looking. If the devil, if the devil operates off of intentions, right? right. All of us will be perfect. Yeah, we just, we'll we just great. make sure we have good intentions, we'll right? Yeah. But good intentions are overrated <laughs> for a reason because the devil knows, like, oh, you don't have that intention, but you're lacking emotionally somewhere. It's gonna bring somebody that's gonna fill that gap, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then when that person fills that gap, you're still gonna be in denial, like, no, I will never do that. And just wait and wait and wait before you are comfortable enough. Like, happen. you know what? He just happened. Mm -hmm. He don't happen. He don't happen. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> For more training on building and attracting a blissful marriage, please visit www.lolaandola.com.